Beekeeping has many rewards, like this handcrafted cheese that I got from Beverly. Thanks, Bev. All right, this is SerpentRaveNorCalBees.com, and uh, today we're going to try to install some bees into a top bar hive. This is a brand new tarp, top bar hive that Beverly here has bought, and uh, I haven't done any work on top bar hives, so we're kind of just experimenting here. I have a three frame nuke there full of bees. Um, I have the queen in the cage right here. She's marked and ready to go. And the idea is I'm gonna take uh, the frames. I have a frame of brood. I'm gonna knock that down. I'm gonna stick this wire over my uh, regular Langstroth frame as a template. I'm gonna cut the comb out and then I'm gonna use this to place the comb in, stick it in here, bend the wires over to hold it, and then I'll throw a couple rubber bands on there just for a safe measure and uh, let it hang in. All right, well, that idea seemed to work very well. I just uh, used the little uh, coat hanger as a guide, cut that out, put that in here. Now we're gonna give it to the bees. I've actually opened up the box, dumped a bunch of the bees down there, Come here and you can look, you can see them. They're all going around the queen now. And uh, they're very excited about getting to her. And then we're gonna put this in here, just like that. And we're gonna go every other one with, uh, with a raw, uh, you know, an empty one. We added more wax on that too to give them a nice feed to go. And uh, yeah, the next one I'm gonna cut out is the brood frame and then see if I can even get maybe even another small piece in there. But uh, yeah, I think this is gonna work out very well, you know, and uh, pretty excited. And her feeder, which is pretty cool here, I'll take a picture of that, is it's got a glass backing. I think that's, that's way cool too. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get one of these. So these, uh, you know, it's kind of cool stuff. All right, we'll check with you in a little bit when we get it all wrapped up. All right, here we go. We got a frame. This is some brood in here, some larvae. We're going to uh, shake the bees off into here and uh, cut this one and then get them going. Now, I know a lot of people don't like to shake them with, uh, with the larvae. They like the brush, but the brush seems to me to agitate the bees way more than shaking. So I like to give them a little shake get them off and then the little scragglers I get them you know off with the brush and when we actually do the cutouts on the job we just leave the bees right on there because we want them to stay on the brood and keep it warm because it may be some time before we uh, um, unite the bees that we vacuum with the bees that we're got in the brood so all right so this is our little frame here Wait a minute, that's not the one I wanted. Bigger one. This one. Like that. I use fishing lines to uh, do my frame, so you can see the little fishing line there. And uh, we will put that over here. leave this out here too long because you know the got to get this brood back covered with bees yeah. so with the fishing line to do like cut out queen cells or to do this kind of stuff it just makes it really nice you, know, you got wire in here and uh It just becomes, you know, you gotta use cutters and it just becomes more of a problem. So. Alright, I'm gonna put this back in here so we get some bees on this brood. Because we're gonna try to maybe do a smaller one with that piece. Put 
Okay, we're gonna put this in here. Give us a little room. Line it up on the edge. And I'm just gonna take this and bend it over. Do the same thing over here. here Try to seal that edge a little bit usually what I got is I got a, a turkey baster and I suck it up and I squeeze it in there but I didn't I didn't have that at home that would that works a lot better to glue um, you know wax to a top bar to whatever doing starter strips so, but we're getting some in there is what it is that's that in there. Some bees on there. Move the queen cage a little bit. And then we'll stick another one of our empty frames. Trim those wires off and uh, we'll be good to go. All right, all right. We have the girls all set up in their new home. We got the feeder filled. Got a few frames of brood, some some nectar and honey stores. Queen's been released, and uh, they all should be happy. I'm not sure if you're supposed to stick those rest of those bars are in there or not, but uh, I'm sure I'll get a lot of comments after me saying that. <laughs> so uh, that's it. We're gonna clean up and uh, and uh, be on our way. Alright, thanks for watching. NorCalBees.com. Bye.